What's up? This is HD News here. So I got a couple of updates from my saw. Uh, the thing was last night I got off, and uh, uh, someone higher up in YouTube for one YouTuber from uh, a media lawyer, you know, um, credits to him for actually sh seeing for me to see this. Um, there's a exception for channels apparently that saves. Uh, kid friendly channels, but not the asshole kid channels, but the ones that I have mixed audience. There's a chef, an exception for that where uh, they won't to go after you, and even if they won't find you forty two thousand five hundred dollars, or they might just say, all they're gonna do basically is remove the video or delete the channel or just go based off of your income from how much you make, you know, altogether, you know, for the channel basically. They're not gonna do anything harsh like that for videos. They're gonna say, "Hey, you know, I we understand." And um, this is a huge blow for me because I was been you know researching, watching a lot of YouTube videos, and apparently my audience. If I go for a lifetime, and I show you. Um, I don't have any kids on my channel, which means I'm covered. That means I don't have to obey by the COPA law, and I don't have to, like, disable comments and all that. So I'm technically safe from the COPA big issue, and they're not going to go after creators for all of this, you know, but the ones who are, like, the, you know, those big vlog channels, but all kids only, those are the ones that are still affected and we need a solution because um, it's nerve wracking but at least we got something from the FTC to explain more and they understand that like Mr. Beast, you know, his channel's got mixed audience and um, there's exceptions in the law that allow this to happen. To have that channel going and have ads and everything and all the bells and whistles working together. And that there's no jeopardy, basically. So it's a huge relief, but YouTube still has to fix the issue of these kids' channels and maybe find a solution that is better. Like, I suggest maybe taking some money from the YouTube Red and then putting it towards that. I don't know how much, but just don't have sort of ads like that. That would be a solution to fix maybe part of the issue. Um... This idea I was thinking about when I was coming back from work, getting off and, you know, working the whole entire day on the parking lot, pushing cars, you know, at my store. So, uh, it's definitely an idea because I am born left-handed, so I'm technically smarter in one way with ideas and it's just proven fact. Lefties are like that. So, it's like, yeah, even if I was born left-handed, I'm technically writing with my right hand. So, give me a thumbs up for that because I don't know. Because I don't feel like I'm not just the only one who can do this in the family. I'm actually have sisters the same way, but a little bit faster. And he might have been born on the right side, being right handed, and I'm just being like left handed all my life with the right hemisphere. And just, I use both either way. I technically think and all that on my right hemisphere, so I'm basically left handed. Which is kind of kind of weird, but you know, they always say there's some diseases with this left and it's like yeah I don't know I mean I'm more I got more allergies than getting sick basically um, this is how it is how lefties have that kind of trait hasn't <sighs> been as bad but you know sometimes it's bad sometimes it ain't so yeah they all they kind of kind of call it cross handness where it's just not just one handness it's like both together so if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment and like below. Because um, this is a huge uh, victory just for that one part um, for YouTube. Still far away. And they're probably working on a solution as we speak to fix this issue. And maybe there's a solution. Something really smart. Because they were thinking about doing the HA, but then, you know, they were taking away ad revenue. And, um, I wouldn't be scaring creators if I was the CEO of YouTube. I would not be scaring because I know I got anxiety, my, anxiety myself, and 
Uh, anxiety causes fear. The only thing you got to fear is fear itself. And um, just don't let it bug you down. I've been trying to work on it in my, in my life lately, trying to push forward and not fear things. It's like walking out and remembering to lock the door. Trying to work on that. Sure, I'm not still 100% immune to that, but it's better than it was. But it's just understanding that, you know, people are deleting their channels and they don't have to. And delete videos, they don't have to because as long as your audience is like this, you're, you don't have to worry. You're not at fault unless it shows like 12 and under on your uh, lifetime, which is mine. And I'll go for 2019. See, it's that 2018, same thing. So it's technically not an issue. And 28 days is not enough, of course, because it's newer. So, yeah, I'm not really having to worry about it. So, yeah, just a heads up, you know, don't worry, it's all fine. So, it's a huge relief for one. So, Thanks for watching. See ya.